Good afternoon, how's everybody doing out there? Reggie Redfern here. Uh, coming to y'all to make this vi next video because I want you guys to understand a couple of things. Um, let me start out with some, some, some things first and foremost. It, it, whether or not, sometimes throughout this video, you may or may not see these little white cards, these index cards in my hand. Um, so I want to quickly talk to y'all about a, uh, a, a breakthrough that I had. You see, when I first started making videos, believe it or not, I didn't want to hold these note cards. I felt like um, holding these note cards in my hands would take away from the value of my video. Oh, people don't want to see you holding note cards in your hand and you got all your thoughts planned out, you know, blah, blah, blah. Um, and this is something some of you all may be doing out there. You're, you're talking to yourself and you're telling yourself all of these um, self-limiting thoughts, you know, about uh, uh, your process, your progress. And so I, um, thanks to, um, I believe it was Chris Record, who's one of our, our leaders at Empower Network, you know, he was, he was doing a, a, a webinar and he, you know, he said, well, I, I speak from notes. I, I do all of my trainings from notes. And then I started thinking about myself and, and digging into my own, um, uh, I guess you could say my own value and my own experience. And guys, let me zoom in a little bit. I'm out here. Uh, I had to find a spot where the sun wasn't messing with the video. So I'm out here on the side of my house. Um, but I've been publicly speaking from notes since I was eight, nine years old. Um, a lot of y'all don't know my history, some of you do, uh, but I grew up in North Carolina and my mother was a Jehovah's Witness, still is a Jehovah's Witness. And if you know anything about Jehovah's Witnesses, they are uh, very devout Christians, but uh, they have this program is, is, that, is, that is a part of the, the, the Jehovah's Witness uh, I don't know, process when you go to church or whatnot. They have something uh, at their church that is called the uh, Theocratic Ministry School is what I, I know it used to be called that. And what that is is that's where the young people of the congregation are trained. You're trained up to give sermons, to speak uh, uh, from the Word of God, and you know, and at myself, even at eight, nine years old, what they do is they give you a set of scriptures, and then you would map out and plan out a five-minute sermon. And my mother used to always tell me, she, she would always, always say, you know, all your friends and other the kids at the congregation your age, their parents are writing their, their talks, is what they call them. Sermon is a talk. And um, she was like, I never wrote your talk. I would give you your assignment, you get the scriptures, I tell you go in the room and figure it out. And I'd go in the room and I did. I'd go in the room and I figured it out. And I'd write a five minute sermon. Um, if you've never spoke for five minutes or had to write a five minute speech, five minutes is not as much longer uh, than you think it is whenever you're writing a speech. And I did all of that from notes. So, so what, what am I saying? Uh, I, I'm just saying that now, that I have gotten more comfortable with my own self-image, which you will do. When you get more comfortable and more confident in your own self-image, you're a lot less worried about what other people are gonna think. And then you also come to find that the things you're worried about are minuscule, they're very small. Nobody's worried about it anyway. You thought people were worried about it. So I made the decision that it would be in my best interest and uh, uh, as well as your best interest, because understand this is this is a video. I'm making these videos. I'm putting them on YouTube and other uh, uh, video platforms on the internet. This is free. This is a free marketing platform, right? And so my whole agenda in making videos is to give you value, to give something to serve you uh, for free. You know, uh, to give you a perspective of who I am, what I am, what my business is, what my business is all about, and sometimes just to come to you with the things that are on my mind. Listen, we're all human. We're all Americans. I'm not the only parent who's look, looking at these videos. I'm not the only husband. I'm not the only son. I'm not the only daughter. You know, oh, I'm not a daughter. Uh, uh, but um, I think you know what I mean. Um, so I'm trying to provide value to you guys. And I, I found myself struggling to do that, trying to memorize everything before I got in front of this camera. So I just decided that I'm not gonna do it anymore. And so now I got my notes. And I'll be giving all of my videos 
off of my notes okay try to help me stay a little bit more focused on what it is I'm trying to provide all right so uh, with that said guys this video is really all about why you need to take action in whatever your aspirations is of course I'm speaking to you specifically about entrepreneurship but whatever it is you might be trying to accomplish in your life I don't care if you're trying to become a better basketball player why you must take action now and not wait until you have everything figured out before you begin to take action okay and how that is hurting your success to start with all right so um with that said I think it's important that I note with me guys there's a lot of different aspects of business that are important okay but for me nothing has become more important than personal development when I have be when I begun probably in in um, August September or August September October probably around November of last year is when my my um, my second daughter was born and after my second daughter was born thanks to the empower network I began to take personal development serious and here we are in June and nothing has benefited not only my business but my life like taking personal development seriously and committing to personal development this this is this is the intangibles you know everybody always wants to know what the secret is what's the secret what's the strategy what's the tool you're using and I personally have come to find that no strategy no tool these things are important and if you if you're interested in strategies tools techniques uh, concepts you know um, my encouragement to you is to click the link below the video and get started with Empower Network. Watch the presentation there, make a decision to get started, buy the tools, buy everything that's back there. Those are the tools. That is the how-to, okay? Everything from the $25 basic membership, which is a blogging platform, okay, that's already set up for you, all the way up to the mastery course, okay, and everything in between. The Inner Circle, uh, uh, which is all about personal development. You learn strategies and techniques throughout the Inner Circle, but the audios in the Inner Circle are all about, you know, uh, developing yourself. Um, the Costa Rican Mastermind, the 15K formula, which shows you a step-by-step -step formula how to make $15,000 a month, and then the mastery course. Okay, get them all. Go on back there and buy everything. You'll have all the tools, strategies, and techniques that you'll ever need to run a successful business on or offline. All right, but nothing has compared, personally for me, like committing to personal development, listening to personal development, uplifting and encouraging and image changing uh, uh, audios and reading those types of books and materials every day. I do that every day. Um, uh, I, I, most of you guys know that I'm a firm believer in doing this part time. My motto is do what's hard while it's still easy. I got that from Mike Basden. Do what's hard while it's still easy. And so that's why I am a part time, uh, I, well, technically I do my business part-time now in my mind I say that for you guys in my mind it doesn't work that way in my mind I work a job part-time and I'm a full-time entrepreneur okay but the point is I have a full-time job okay that I have to do every day and then I come home and I work in my business um, I encourage all of you out there I'm, I, I, I speak to you directly those people who are out there and you have a job the reason I speak to you is because I believe in Mike Basden's motto and I've accepted as my own motto, which is do what is hard while it's easy. Don't wait until you lose your job, you get laid off, your business goes under, you're in foreclosure, your car breaks down, you can't buy a new one. Don't wait until all of those tragedies happen to get started uh, uh, making another and a better way for yourself and your family to support yourself. Do it now while you have a job. While you have that income, that check that you're so dependent upon, that check that you're addicted to, do this now while that check is coming in. Do what is hard while it is easy. Okay, so um, nothing has benefited me more than the personal development. I listen to these audios while I'm at work. I drive a truck and then I deliver. 
So while I'm delivering, whatever it is I must deliver, I have my iPod in my ear. And I might be at a delivery, I might be at a stop for two, two and a half hours. And I'm listening to an audio book the entire time. Now I'm sure the people think I'm listening to Jay-Z. I'm listening to an audio book. I'm listening to Think and Grow Rich. I'm listening to Robert Kiyosaki's entire Rich Dad series. I'm listening to Maxwell Malk's uh, uh, Psycho Cybernetics. All of these type things that build you personally. And what you find will end up happening is you'll have progress in your, your life outside of business. And that's why it's so important to me. But now let's get to the point of this video as to why you need to take action now and why you simply cannot wait until you know everything. Okay. Point one, you simply cannot wait until you know uh, uh, until you've got everything figured out. You've got the whole big picture mapped out. And now you're going to take action. Well, first and foremost, you'll never have everything figured out. And so if you're waiting to get everything figured out to take action, you'll never take any action. So that's just a cut and dried. You know, it's a it's a it's a um, it's a fallacy. You know, it's a it's a way to fail. It's a foolproof way to fail to wait until you figured everything out before you take the very first step. OK, and let me explain that to you in um, in an example in an illustration you cannot steer a car that is not moving you know when I was a kid we had my mother had uh, uh, my mother drove station wagons right and she had this Subaru Subaru was broke down she had another car that she drove Subaru was broke down didn't work hadn't worked for years but it was parked uh, uh, on the side of the yard if any of y'all like I told you from North Carolina if any of y'all from the country uh, you understand that a lot of times you got cars that don't work parked in the yard. So <coughs> every day after school, my brother and I would climb in that Subaru and we would act like we were driving. We'd be in that Subaru and just, just jerking that wheel. Cars going nowhere. Cars going nowhere. Have you ever done that before? Have you ever got in a car and just tried to turn the steering wheel. First of all, it's hard to turn the steering wheel when the car is not cranked up and moving. You cannot steer a, a car that's not in motion. That's what you are when you're waiting to figure everything out before you take action. You are literally sitting in your car, the vehicle that will lead you to the lifestyle that you desire, the money that you want to make, the riches you desire to have, the lifestyle. You're sitting in that car and you're just turning that steering wheel, you jerking that steering wheel. But because you have decided that you're gonna figure this whole steering thing out before you put the key in the ignition, crank it up, put it in drive, and start going forward, where are you going? Nowhere. You're going nowhere. I hope that speaks to some of you. For some of, for, for the rest of you, let's let's do another, let, let me tell you another story. Go outside in your garage, your shed, wherever you have some bikes, okay? Pull that bike out. I don't care if it's a child's bike. Pull that bike out and um, kick the kickstand up, straddle that bike, get on the seat, and then put both of your feet, your right foot on the right pedal and your left foot on the left pedal. Don't pedal it. Just put your feet on the pedals. Now, tell me what's going to happen to you. That's right. You're going to fall to the left or to the right. Because you simply cannot steady a bike that is not in motion. You can't steady a bike that's not in motion. So what, do I, what am I implying by these two examples? What I'm implying is that in order to even figure out what it is that you need to do, you have to take action. That's why you cannot wait, even if you don't know what to do or how to do it, you cannot wait until you figure everything out to take action. You must take action first and then take corrective steps as you're moving forward. Guys, did you know a rocket or scud miss missile scud missile or even a heat seeking missile did you know that that rocket is off course 90 percent of its flight the rocket is moving with so much momentum so much force that it's not it's not on course to the target 
But the target, the ultimate target, just like your ultimate goal, my ultimate goal, all of my, com my partners uh, uh, and colleagues on my team in the Automated Income Group, we're all working together. All of us, all of our targets are way up here. They're way up there. We're moving with so much momentum that we simply can't stay focused on the target. 90% of the time, the rocket is off target. And what it does as it's going, as it's going, what it does is it's constantly making corrective steps. Oh, I'm of course, correct that. I'm of course, correct that. Oh, I'm a little off. Correct that, correct that, correct that, correct that. And it constantly corrects itself as it makes its way to its ultimate target. And that's how it reaches its ultimate target. That is exactly how business works. You can only learn by taking action and then correcting your mistakes, throwing out the information that was no good, the error that you made, and only keeping the corrective information the information that taught you okay that's a mistake I don't need to do it that way I need to do it this way now you're better at whatever that is guys when I first started blogging I told you before when I first started when we first started this video how how I started out with videos now they want to hold my notes when I first started blogging it would take me two three hours to do one blog post and most of the time of that two three hours I was just sitting there looking at the screen trying to figure out what to say trying to figure out how to say it then spend another hour and a half figuring out how to make it look good everybody else's blogs looks better than mine that's why they're getting sales <laughs> but as you do it more and more you find it real easy to make it look good you make it look good in five minutes there's not really all that much time spent in making the blog post look good and now it doesn't take me three hours to write a blog post I can sit down in my computer, I've timed it. I can sit down in my computer and in 20, 25 minutes write a blog post if I want to do it in that amount of time because I have a clock now. I have a, a timer clock that I can set right in front of my computer, set it for 20 minutes and go. And just go. And don't think about anything else for that 20 minutes but making that blog post. I'm going to make mistakes. You're going to make mistakes. Guys, this is something you have to learn in entrepreneurship. Mistakes are a good thing. You learn from those mistakes. You take that, that negative information, which is the mistake is some negative information, but it's corrective information. It's only negative to your business if you respond to it improperly. The proper way to respond to it is, 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 is that negative information comes in as, oh, Reggie, you're doing this wrong. That's not the best way to do it. Okay, thank you. Now I will correct that. I will get that back in place in its proper place now I can throw away that negative information. I don't need it anymore. It won't happen again. My mother used to tell me, uh, they, they, they were, it was in relation to relationships. But I remember I had, uh, uh, I was a teenager and I had a, uh, a relationship with a female. It lasted a little while. It lasted a good while. And whenever we broke up, you know, I was talking with my mom who at the time was my best friend. You know, my mother was my mother, my father, everything else. And I said, uh, I remember saying, you know, mom, I just wasted, you know, the whole school year dealing with this girl and, and just for nothing. You know, what, what's that about? And my mother said, anytime you learn something, you go through an experience. If you learn from it, it's not a waste of time. If you learn from it, it's not a waste of time. It's the same exact thing I just said in reference to the mistake and the negative information coming in. It wasn't a waste of time. You learned from that and you learned a better way to blog, a better way to make videos, a better way to maximize your time in your business, a better way to generate leads, whatever it may be, a better way to deal with your spouse, a better way to deal with your children, a better way to manage your time. Guys, as I'm speaking to you in this video, I'm learning all of those things as I go, as I go. But you must go because without going forward, there is no action to correct there will be no results so you must take that first step so what am I going to challenge you to do 
I'm gonna challenge you to do a couple of things right here, right now. The first thing I'm gonna challenge you to do is to stop living and existing and going through the motions of mediocrity. The motions of mediocrity. Stop just accepting any and everything life comes your way. Oh, I wasn't meant to be rich. I don't know about you guys, but so long as I'm a child of God, I'm meant to be rich. When I first started reading the Bible for myself, for myself as an adult, I was 19 years old. And I remember as I read through the Old Testament, I was like, man, everybody in this book who is supposedly a friend of God was rich. They were rich in their time, their era. Rich may have been a bunch of land. Rich may have been a bunch of cattle. Rich at, for some of them was a bunch of gold. But they were rich, every last one of them. That means children of God were meant to succeed. That's all I need to be in order to deserve success and riches. That's all you need to be. Doesn't matter. I don't know who your God is. and doesn't matter to me. You're still the creation of a very rich, powerful, and almighty creator. Supreme being. Therefore, you should not live in his creation called earth in lack. You only lack because you choose to lack. The second you choose to stop lacking and stop going through the motions of mediocrity, you won't have a mediocre life. I recently passed on a book. I recently passed on a book. It was Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich. If you don't, if you never read Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich, I, I feel like that's like one of the foundational self-help self-improvement books okay especially if you desire to, to be rich and make a lot of money be an entrepreneur uh read that book but i passed that book on to a friend of mine you can also um i'm gonna have that up on my blog so you can visit my blog um at changelifeuniversity.com there'll be a link below this video and there'll be a a, a link for you to get the pdf for free because you can get think and grow rich for free now you can download it for free. I don't even if you don't get it from me, Google it. Okay. Um, but the point is, I passed it on to a buddy of mine and his girlfriend. And why did I pass it on to them? We had had enough conversations in the recent past for me to realize that they weren't. You know, n n none of us are mega millionaires uh, 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 in the physical manifestation. See, I'm a mega millionaire right now. My bank account doesn't show that, but I know that bank account to catch up that's what you have to begin to do is you have to have whatever it is you want to have guys you have to have it up here first whatever lifestyle you want to live you have to live it up here first whatever person you see yourself being you have to be that person in the present don't worry about what happens after that just be that person today and I promise you you'll start to see your life in the universe around you mold itself to that same idea that same self-image that you have of yourself it's called the law of attraction okay but I knew from our conversations that they had already had a mindset that they didn't have to settle life did not have to be the way that it was for them for me for a, a lot of our associates we didn't have to stay in the zip codes that we live in mediocre jobs busting your behind from paycheck to paycheck just to get by and so I, I, I felt like it was time to uh, do what I could for my buddy do what I could for my friend to help him to the next level so I didn't go and pitch him you should join my business and give me some money and do this that and other I could have everything that I have to say everything that I have to offer is of tremendous value it's priceless if you don't believe me, you click the link below this video, watch the presentation, make a decision to get started, and get everything in the back office of the product, Sweet Empower Network. You'll thank me for it. Because you'll know that what I'm telling you is true. But I didn't do that with him. I said, I'm a baby step, my friend. I have to, sometimes you have to treat the people who, you, who you're close to, your warm market, you have to treat them differently. They don't respond the same way. They don't hear the same way. They don't receive the same way. Right? So I passed on Napoleon Hill's Think and Grow Rich to him and his girlfriend. Why? Because I want them to stop settling for mediocrity. 
and I want them to tap into the mindset that can take them out of mediocrity because they already desire to do it. All right, the second thing I'm gonna ask you to do is to accept personal responsibility. Okay, accept personal responsibility for your life and your well-being and dare to be self-reliant. Dare to be self-reliant. Okay, video's getting kind of long, so I want to move it along. But this is the difference between people that succeed and people that don't. People that are successful, they accept the responsibility. They accept personal responsibility. You can't go around, you can't get anywhere in life always pointing the finger at somebody. Oh, it's Obama's fault. It's the, it's the Democrats' fault. It's the Republicans' fault. It's my boss's fault. It's my mom and dad's fault because they didn't raise me any better than they did. And oh, this, that, and other. I'm from the hood, and so in the hood, we this, that, and other. Guys, you don't even need to get into where I'm from. But if that's your line, you definitely need to accept personal responsibility. And stop using all of these societal garbage that, people, that, 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 that the society has put in your mind and you perpetuate it not even knowing the impact and the control it has over your life. Dare to be self-reliant. Dare to say that my income and my well-being and the lifestyle in which I provide for my family is going to be on me. It's not going to be on my boss. I'm not going to beg him for another quarter, an hour. I'm going to be the man who generates what comes in this house. I generated this all upon me. The only person who can stop the flow of money in this house is me. Okay? And the third thing that I want you to do is know and understand that your success or lack thereof is not dependent upon any external factors. None of them. All of the ones I just named. I don't care. Listen, there are people in Empower Network who are handicapped. There's a deaf guy making $10,000 a month. There's a lady in Australia who has, uh, uh, I don't know the name of her disease, but it's a spinal disease. She can't even sit up in a chair. She has to lay on her stomach and blog, but she blogs. There's a 12-year-old kid from Holland. You, 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 you'll see the video on my blog. 12-year-old kid from Holland who made $12,000 in three months. He's 12. It's not external factors. That's what you tell yourself to comfort yourself. Stop doing it. I'm not going to tell you that because it's a lie. Everything that you need to succeed or fail is internal. It is all within you. You have to learn how to tap into it. I can encourage you to read as many books and listen to as many audios as, as possible. But guys, there's nothing like mentorship and having partners. See, I have a team. It's called the Automated Income Group. And I work with the people in this team together because it benefits not only myself but our entire team to encourage one another, to uplift one another, to educate one another. And see, when you have teammates in life, I don't care what goal it is, that goal becomes uh, more probable for you to succeed or obtain that goal or achieve that goal it's the same way in church people the Bible says let us not forsake the gathering of ourselves together it's not because it's cool to go to communion or so you can go to church and look at how fly the rest of the girls are or how fly you are people you go to church for one reason that is to associate with people of a like spiritual mind to encourage you in your spiritual journey that's all it's for So the last thing I'm going to encourage you to do is join us. Join my team by clicking the link below this video, watching the presentation that's there, and making a decision right now to get started. Cost you all of 25 bucks to get started. And let's achieve, 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 <laughs> achieve our dreams together, guys. I don't know anyone who's done it alone. That includes myself. And I don't know a team better for you to be a part of right now than my team. With that said, guys, the video has probably gotten up in a minute. So peace and love. I'll see you all in the next video.